Anyways, in this session we shall see how to pass dynamic values for keys generally we always see right we will have a key value pair so basically the values can always be like you know we can pass easily like payload or vats or something xyz or uh, those syntaxes can be passed in values place but if we want if at all we want our keys also to be dynamic how to pass them okay so there are two ways if you are having array of values how to uh, use uh, what is the syntax that you need to use i will show that but first let me uh, show you like i want to pass the key name okay as a query parameter and whatever query parameter pass i pass here for example key equal to name here right so name is coming over here so how to get it dynamically is what i will be showing here so the syntax for uh, this particular thing so here you can see first I am saving that particular key into a variable attributes dot query params dot key you can also directly pass in local variable here but what I am trying to do is I am defining a local variable a equal to vars dot keys the reason why I am using a local variable is you cannot pass dollar of vars dot something okay uh, it will give error out. It, it will error out okay so only way to do is you can define a local variable where a equal to as dot key which will be a string again make sure that this value should always return a string because keys are always a single string value it cannot be an object or array right so this is the key and this is syntax how you need to use so definitely you need to have double quotes okay within double quotes dollar of small brackets and a a is the local variable name and this is the correct syntax that you have to use uh, if you are forgetting to give double quotes or if you are giving flower braces everything is wrong this is the perfect way to call a dynamic value okay let's see uh, if i am sending the value you can see now i am getting something like name hello mulis what if i want to pass something like message i want to pass the key name as message you can see now it is saying like message hello mulis and uh, you can say like if you pass content i'm getting content hello mulis so in this way you can dynamically pass a uh, value for a key okay very easy and simple all that you need to understand is uh, you have to pass within double quotes and dollar of small braces what if i give single quotes within this okay single quotes within this what will happen let's test it okay my application is getting deployed okay now if i send this request irrespective of whatever key it is it is giving a because if you are by mistakenly giving single quotes here it will consider if this syntax and this syntax is one and the same so please don't wrap single quotes within these small brackets that will not accept it will accept as a static value okay so this is the correct way even if you are seeing this error just ignore it so this is the correct way you can see again i'll save it okay these are like studio bugs don't worry this is the correct syntax okay to pass any dynamic values from vars dot or something or payload dot something all that you need to keep in mind is this this particular value should return a string value okay now let me send it again now you can see my key value is dynamic so let me try it again my message you can see my message okay this is how you need to pass a dynamic value next thing what if you want to have array of values over here for example i'll just stop my project here i wanted to show you something okay so what i wanted to tell you is let me keep this where key as something like order details okay and uh, I want a, a result of key value pairs where the keys should be of the order IDs and the name should be something like this. So how to do that? Okay, let's see. Let me remove this payload and give single quotes first. Just observe the preview. I don't want to run my application again and again. Now you are here you can see dollar of A, it is returning order details because it is a dynamic value. Now, next what I wanted to do is, I have orders which is an array of objects you can see here 
and i don't want something like order id name order id name i want something like 134 colon soap 222 colon tumblr something like that so how to achieve that so orders map enter okay you are having this you have to use dollar dot order id colon dollar dot order name so here it is giving error erroring out why if you are using dollar dot order id here it will work fine because this is the value place and all syntaxes are uh, executed properly but the real thing comes here when you are using in key place okay just wrap whole thing within small brackets that is the trick here okay don't if you are not if you are forgetting to keep the small brackets you you won't be getting your values okay so now as i wrap this small brackets within uh, this dollar dot order id in small brackets you can see now my uh, resultant is achieved so it is like 134 so 222 tumblr 389 notebook so this is how you can dynamically uh, use the values for keys okay here only you are seeing two different kind of syntax for keys right one is double quotes dollar of a the other one is small brackets dollar dot xyz so this is used to execute some kind of local variables and this is used to uh, get the values from your array of objects very simple 